Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. And today on the morning of November the 4th, 2024, we have gotten our first official real tease of the next printer in the Flash Forge Adventurer 5M lineup. And they released two pictures over on Facebook. We're gonna go over them right now, starting with this one. And it's just a multicolor X, fast to the extreme, ooh, extreme. So at the bottom, our multicolor is confirmed. Multicolor Productivity Booster. Now they are going to be showing more about this um, on November 15th. That's the date of Form Next, which is this convention over in Germany. They did put out a teaser that shows that they are gonna be at that show. They had a couple of their products underneath a sheet. And um, presumably that's when they are going to reveal more about what's under those sheets and give us some more specs and everything like that. So multicolor is confirmed, but there's also another picture as well. So let's just take a look at this sketch here. It says, as the all-in-one PC saves space, we now have the all-in-one 3D printer. All right, so we've got our old school computer on the left and then we have the printer on the right. Now, what can we deduce from this photo? Well, honestly, not much. Now, hold on, before I move any you know further than this, let me just be completely honest and transparent and open with you about this. I don't wanna go through this acting like uh, everything's a shock to me because I did know some of this beforehand and I just couldn't say anything about it. I don't know everything, but I just know like the basics of it, okay? So some of the things that I can't talk about, so I don't want you to think that I'm just, you know, pulling your leg here, all right? So this is what we can deduce from this picture. For this particular printer, it definitely does look like just the regular 5M. And, then, and that's just based on the way, the way that the screen is and how it hovers above the frame. And then on the right, it's got a four spool holding mechanism on the side of the machine. So it's that like the AMS box, it's going to be mounted on the side of the screen. Now, I don't know if they are going to have something that's similar to an AMS where you put everything inside of the, of the box and then put that over to the side or something. I don't know that, but I did know that there were going to be four spools of filament attached to the side. Got this little mechanism on top, um, I'm assuming that the filament can go through that and then it'll make its way to the print head. Uh, maybe there's a tool cutter or a filament cutter on the tool head. I'm not sure about that, but this is what the next 5M is going to look like, at least in sketch form. Now, as far as some specs go, again, full disclosure, I do know some specs. I don't know all the specs, but you know, I can't say that right now because it's not officially official. Um, so can't make any comment about that, but um, November 15th is when we'll know more about it. I know that people want to have a larger print bed. I think that's like the most important thing to people, larger print bed, but um, we do have the multicolor and that was another big thing. And I call multicolor printing the, the DPS check of 3D printers at this point in time. And I still do believe that. Now, what we don't have a teaser for here is the next printer in the adventure 5M Pro line. They have not talked about that. This one is definitely just the regular 5M. So hopefully they'll show more about that over in Germany. Um, again, I know a little bit about what that's going to be too, but um, you know, it's just how it is. I can't say anything about that. So um, hopefully all will be revealed on the 15th and then I'll be able to just say whatever it is I want to say about it without, you know, like breaking trust and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this printer and its inclusion of multicolor 3D printing and what are some of the specs that you would like to see from it. Um, like I said, I only know a little bit. I don't know about the firmware. I don't know if it's gonna be open source. I, I don't know. You know, I just probably know like three or four bullet points. I mean, that's it. But uh, yeah, that is it for now. I'll keep you informed on any uh, publicly available information that might come out about this printer. So uh, yeah, be sure to check back and hopefully I can get my hands on one when it comes out and go over every single thing that has to do with it and make multiple videos about how it works and all that stuff, just like I did 
with the original 5M. So that's it for now. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.